part of the brush and it's like what and if you get a flat top uh, kabuki brush you want to get um synthetic hair so that it doesn't absorb your makeup because if you're getting your makeup absorbed it's like what's the point like you might as well just use a beauty blender which will absorb like a lot less but this is my i didn't wet it so i'm not using it but yeah so once again i'm leaving this my under eyes unconcealed because i want to do the concealer that i found which is discontinued but i'm sure you can find it on amazon or ebay or ulta maybe i don't know probably not ulta but i don't know i mean online not on ulta so Now that I'm pretty much satisfied with how this looks, it's full coverage. You probably can't see that well because the lighting is really bad, but this is on an iPhone 6, not like a Canon Rebel T3i, um, but it covers very well. I'm going to lift my lamp over over here so you can see. Um, there we go. So I it does work actually like really well. I'm trying to balance my lamp. <laughs> So, oh my god, this is so stressful. Okay, whatever. That's probably going to fall, so. That's how it blends really evenly, and it's going to oxidize later on. <laughs> but I don't really care because I'm not going anywhere. And yeah, so, that's the full coverageness of it, and I ignored my under eyes. Now for the fun part. This is the concealer that was discontinued by Olay and CoverGirl, Simply Aegis corrector is the yellow tone one and it's like almost green because it's so old it's been cracked but i found another one which is the lightest color i believe 210 maybe they have 205 or 200 but this is what it looks like it is you just watch this happen i'm going to order five freaking pockets probably not but anyway i have to told that it was gonna fall I have fake nails on so I can't go into this because it's not gonna fit so I'm just gonna take my beauty blender I know so we'll see is it wet but I'm not going up in the middle of this video and wetting it so I'm just gonna make do and just dip it in there you can't really see because it was already stained but I did get some concealer on there watch what happens see this is before disgusting redness I don't sleep look at how creamy that is what even like, why did they discontinue this? Like, CoverGirl needs to be, like, sued. Because, like, why did they have to do this to me? They're so underestimating themselves with this stuff. Like, they need to, like, I don't even, there's no words. I don't know what to say. I can't believe I never discovered this until now. And, of course, it's discontinued, but I'm gonna find a way to access it. Because I need to order this. Alright, which one makes me look more awake? This side, and it's freaking like highlighter too. Like, what even? I'm gonna blend that out a little bit. I like to not blend my concealer out too much because then it kind of fades and just doesn't look as light. This side, it looks like I'm like, here, look. I look like I'm like dead. And then I look like I'm alive. It's like, what? What and where did my dark circles go? Like I know, yes, you could see the shape, the shape, the shape, <laughs> the shape of them and the shadow because of the lighting right now in my room. But in person, it's like in the mirror, it's like what are even our dark circles? So up close, this is I know it's kind of gross because I have little bumps everywhere, but I didn't use primer. That's why. Look at this, amazing, right? So I'm gonna go back with my beauty blender probably use the rest of the concealer on here and then get a little more out of the pot it's almost empty so ordering more needs to happen like this month I know this is dry I know I know you're supposed to use it wet too lazy there is no words for this concealer it is just amazing coverage it's full coverage it's i think it's better than the mac pro longwear tutorials i have watched i just got a hair in my eye that's cute 
and I know you could also use your finger really nicely to warm this up and just blend it out more which I'm doing a little bit um but like I said I couldn't really dip my finger into the pot because I have fake nails and it just wouldn't fit And imagine using your fingers how much better coverage you'd have. Like, wazam, I'm awake now. That is nuts. I can't believe this. Anyway, I'm going to keep continuing. I'm not going to do my eye makeup on camera because I look down into my phone. I, I use my phone to do my eye makeup. I don't use the mirror. Um, I like to look down so my mascara goes up. And just kind of common sense. <clears throat> like I said, for my bronzer, I use the Dollar Fan Brush from the e.l.f. I believe this is the white, the white handle is the studio line. And the black handle is just the regular. I'm pretty sure that's correct. But if I'm not, sorry. But uh, this is literally a dollar, and I like it because it's thin. The NARS Eda brush is like the contour brush of like the high-end world. But, you know, I ain't about that life because I'm cheap. Um, I do like to also conceal my nose because I tend to get redness on there. Because, especially now, because I have had such bad allergies and stuff. And, you know... Allergies make your nose red when you blow your nose. Not allergies, but like when you blow your nose, it gets red. You know how you feel. Anyway, so this is the um, bronzing powder I use. Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder. And guess what it is? NYC Sunny. My baby. I love this stuff. It is... I hit pan already in the middle only. And this is what I do. I literally take the dollar fan brush from e.l.f. Sweep it. And then there's going to be some fallout in the corner. And I just stipple this in tap off the excess and as you can probably see i have a natural contour shadow so i basically just follow that if you don't know how to contour what you want to do is take anything a brush concealer or whatever roll it on top and below your cheekbones and that hollow where like your thing where your object goes under your cheekbone is where you want to contour and i know mine's a little bit my shadow is a little bit low but if you want a more natural contour, go down here. But if you want it to look like Kim Kardashian, like jutting cheekbones, you know, go. I mean, my shadow's pretty much there. So yeah, I just follow my shadow. It is my natural contour sh uh, shadow, so I just follow that. And I'm gonna get more product because I use like none. I apologize this video is so long, but I wish I could have something to edit, like, my videos with. I'll probably invest in iMovie, like, the next millennium, but... If I ever get a MacBook, probably, like, in college and I'm still on YouTube, I'll probably, like, do it then, but for now, who cares? So yeah, I'm going to do a little more of the fallout on the sides. And you could always just tap it to get all the fallout out of it. But since this bronzer is cheap, I know it's like $3.50 to $4.39, I think. Either one of those prices, something like that. It's definitely 3 to $4, no more than 5 And it's just such a great ashy bronze. I don't really know how to describe it. So, of course, that's harsh AF, so I'm going to blend that out. I hate myself for saying that. I'm going to just go back and forth, back and forth, and then do little circular motions to kind of blend it up. Don't do circular motions down here because if you go down here, that defeats the purpose of contouring because, you know, just kind of common sense there, not even knowing makeup, you know? Now, now, I did realize that uh, bronzer looks a lot more harsh on camera, but in person, this looks, like, totally natural. I wouldn't say natural, really, but it just kind of flows with my foundation. It looks really nice and elegant and just looks beautiful, and I love this. That sounded so stupid. I love this makeup combination. I'm going to use NYX Spanish Rose Blush, which I use. Um, this is basically kind of my only blush that would actually work. I do have a couple, like, LA Colors ones that were, like, probably, like, a dollar, 
that like my family got me <laughs> whoops but um they don't really they're not pigmented at all and they fall out everywhere and they're like from like they could be from the dollar they're from the dollar tree and it's just not worth it this was maybe like five to seven dollars and the pigmentation is off the wall i just use a dupe for real techniques this is a precision beauty angled blush brush it does have an angle as you could tell and this is just what i do for my blush tap off a lot because this is a great brush and absorbs a lot of product I like to do the most faint amount of blush. Don't go right on your apples. Go like a little. See what I just did? <laughs> go right, like right behind them. Once again, that snorting noise is my dog. She does this all night. I don't like too much blush. I just kind of like to focus on my bronzer. So then I will take my e.l.f. Total Face Brush and blend. As you can see, it's like a little pop of color. And then, last but not least, I'm going to do highlighter. I would usually use a liquid illuminator, the new L'Oreal Lumi one. But I, for the sake of time, it's 15 minutes and 15 seconds right now. So I'm going to just quickly use my NYX Wonder Stick um, and just quickly highlight just so you could see what I do 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 haha ha, said do do every day I use this universal color this is the highlight which is gorgeous and this is the contour which is also gorgeous but cream contouring takes a longer time so not gonna do that this is the highlight it's very sheer and beautiful now to highlight you want to highlight literally like on the top of your cheekbone it almost hurts when you press it so I should probably stop doing that but the higher the highs of your cheekbones, you want to put a little line of highlighter on and just work a little bit down. You don't really have to work down if you're just like kind of beginning with highlighting. I know like I'm making myself sound like I'm a professional. I know I'm not. But if you're just kind of starting to highlight, just go to the top of your cheekbone and just leave it at that. It's my water dragon acting like a psycho. But I like to bring it down a little bit more to kind of make my contour stand out and then I would go down my nose up here here and here but I'm too lazy and I'm not really going anywhere so no one's gonna see that it's uneven I'm gonna take my beauty blender and as you can see now it kind of makes my face stick out so this looks more like it's sunken in more And then the last step would be to set that with a highlighting powder. So I'm going to do that because YOLO. I'm just shaking it out to make sure there's no uh, fallout. This is the new L'Oreal True Match Lumi. This goes with the liquid illuminator. I just like to just mix them all together since they are different colors, but they do pretty much turn out the same. I just like to set that on the high of my cheekbone. And then blend a little more and then last but not least I'm going to set my whole face with the covergirl dusting powder that is my life and it's like I think about six years old maybe five years six years old and it's like all dirty packaging at the drugstore now it's like a deep in the dark abyss of the AMP makeup aisle but I buy it because it's amazing I very lightly go over what I just did because this highlighter is powerful and will shine through. I don't like to go over my bronzer too much and my brush literally just broke. But it's okay because it was like a dollar anyway. So yeah. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. This is the finished look. And then as you could see, I am like so sculpted. 
so yeah i hope you guys um enjoyed this video um please subscribe to my channel as i will start doing more videos hopefully soon i probably will um but yeah once again this is just a quick overview of the makeup i think it turned out beautifully this is what i would do every day i do this in my instagram pictures i don't